Happy anniversary! Oh, ha yeah, happy, happy Chandler's birthday. I forgot how many years it is now by this point. Uh, this is... I want to get. I want to say six. I'm guessing six. Yeah, it's in it might be six. Right. Not sure. It was three year. Yeah, it must be six. Yeah, yes, it was regardless. because the fourth last year was the fifth one because the fourth year we streamed at Anthony and Linda's. Oh, last yeah. year we yeah six. Happy sixth anniversary. So we're doing a bit different. We're not streaming. I'm not. Because, but yeah, because he'll be at work now. Poor sod. Don't say that. People, never mind. I should be at work now. Yeah. I was supposed to be at work. But I mean, um, I'm supposed to be. I am supposed to be at work, but nobody knows that. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, if lost my train of thought. Anyway, no. so um, yeah. So, so we're, not instead, doing, we're not doing streaming like we normally do. I'm not doing like a big special. Yeah. Well, we might do an edited video. I don't know. Who knows? But this idea, this is admittedly a weird idea came up with one night after really having a bad day at work and then getting drunk, having a few drinks at home. Before passing off, thought this would be a good idea for a video. How about talking about me, and, you know, reruns, you know, how we got from how we got stuff. into gaming. Then I passed out. Then I woke up the next day. I thought that's actually not a bad idea. And then you sent me it, and I thought, yeah, that isn't a bad idea. Let's do it. So we're going through, we're trolling so through like, our history of games. Yeah. So basically. like, you know, first game, first console. How we got into series is yeah. how how so, good we were at games back then because yeah. I certainly really wasn't back then. Yeah. So, like, what was the first handheld console you have owned? That would be Game Boy Advance. That was... Ooh. That, in fact, well, no, sorry, Game Boy Color, I tell a lie, because yeah. my mum got it from a charity shop for 50p, and it came with... Ten it still came with Tetris, despite... A Game, Bo well, Game Boy Color? Not, not, not a, a big block? No, a green a Game, Boy Game Boy Color. Color. A green Game Boy Color. With, Game with, with Tetris from a charity shop. Which was 50 pence. 50 p <laughs> I don't even know... I don't know how much mine was. I got, just got it as a birthday present. I got the Game Boy Color. It was transparent purple. See. And I got it with the Pokemon trading card game. I've never played that actually. And well, we should do it on the channel sometime. Maybe yeah. And it came in a a bum bag. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and there was an external battery pack. Mine was. Do you know the Christine had the leaf trust in, mm -hmm. in lock that was there. It was uh, literally set the count. I isn't, isn't that isn't that where you got the red red uh, Wii for the channel? No, that, that was at the, the Kirkwood Hospice bar where I live. Okay. No, but I didn't know I had Tetris. It was only when I got home. My mum said, "Here you go." I said, "No, I can't play anything." She went, "Yeah, here you go." <laughs> That's Tetris yeah. for it. No, what, what, was, what was your first ever game you played? Like, oh, let's see. Uh, uh, I've only got vague memory. I'm not sure which one it is. It was either Lego Racers for the N64. Okay. Mario Kart for the N64. Okay. Or. Or was it Mario 64? See, mine was a bit. Well, the generation before that. Now this is really weird for me because my first game I remember playing was Alex Kid in Miracle World. Now the trouble is that is a Master System game, but part well, it's of also my Mega Drive. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. That's Enchanted Castle. You're thinking. Oh yeah, of, of course. The thing is, I had a I had a Mega Drive and a Master CD. However, I clearly remember this, and it could have been. I think it was a Master System two or Mega Drive, some kind of weird binder. Yeah. But Alex Kid is a Master System, and I remember ever told about this. The argument, the toss of me. So when you basically started up the system with no game in it, it would load up Alice Kid in Miracle World. What, you mean like your um, Atari does with Asteroid? Exactly like that. R which you found out when... <laughs> Sorry. Fry's in the background with his new chair. Yeah. We, we, we found out about that with... Uh, yeah, because we, we couldn't get space in the... Yeah, but that's yeah. literally how it was. But the thing is, no matter where I look, I can't find the same system, so I could be wrong about it. And it's a Master System game. So yeah. I have no idea, but since then I that was just not long after that I was then a Sega fan. But I played Sonic, Sonic Two. I was very I don't know about you, but when I first started playing games, I was so bad at them. I could never mm. get past the Marble Zone in Sonic One. Oh yeah, I, I remember playing whichever Sonic it was on the Mega Drive. Uh, I think it was Sonic Two, and I was utterly terrible at it. I could. And then someone showed me how to get to the level select menu. See, I didn't know that when I was. Was, was it Sonic Three? What, Sonic, what? They all have lovely Sonic yeah. menus, but I could never get past the Marble Zone on Sonic One. I yeah. would doubt, lose all my continues, everything, and never get past it. Nowadays, I get up to Lafayette Zone, but yeah, yeah, through that, and I remember having one game. Now, this is another funny story. I think I told you this. Do you, remember, do you ever tell you about the bootleg Mega Drive game I had as a kid? Not sure. So it was called Lawnmower Man. Now, I reckon it's as, a as in as in Lawnmower Man, the terrible movie. The Lawnmower Man, yeah. I reckon but it's a bootleg game because I remember. I think I think it's on on SNES. I remember booting in this game, 
There's a white guy lying down on the, on the grass. He has run over my llama. Laugh. Game stops. <laughs> okay. I know, but I want to press to happen. Yeah. But uh, moving on. Um, um, moving on from handhelds and. Well, two. First what game. I was going to move on to handhelds. Do, do, this will interest you. Do you. Do you. I didn't get into Pokemon for a very long time. Mm. It wasn't until my yeah. cousin actually had Mario and Pokemon. Yeah. And it was actually Fire Red I first played. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, I. Obviously, the first game, like I said, the first Game Boy game I ever got was the Pokemon Trading Card game. But the first actual main series Pokemon game I got was Silver. Because, basically, my birthday that year, I'd be, I'd been gotten Lego Island 2 for the Game Boy, Game Boy Color. And then again, I never did playing, unfortunately. Yeah, it, it wasn't that good. And I traded it to one of my mates at school. I remember you telling this story. To, 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 for Pokemon Silver. And then the, the person I was living with at the time pretty much ripped me a new one because of it. Understandably. Yeah, uh, anyway, pause. one minute. So yeah, uh, so yeah, I traded it to that guy. Got ripped a new one, but then of course, I, I, and I was told in no no uncertain terms, trade back with him, and he wouldn't. And I'm um, very glad he didn't. Yeah, well, for either for my my console thing, when my game my color, I had Tetris, mm -hmm. and I remember a shop in town called Games to You, and it was the best game shop I. have Games to you, and the Imperial Arcade. Oh yeah, yeah, Toy Box Games. In games to you it was called when I yeah. was there. It was the best game shop I've ever been to, and I mean best. You remember the game shop at Holland and that repair your disc? Mm. They would do it without charging. They would yeah. literally do anything. In fact, my favourite game of all time actually came from their online website, funnily enough. Yeah. And they had one, which was Dark Cloud, but my, me and my mum went into shop because I was, you know, if you wanted to give me something else, we found Cr Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle mm. on Nintendo and NES. Yeah. She goes to the guy. Goes, have you got this on Game Boy? You know, being quite obviously, she went, you know, I was, you know me seeing it from my adult perspective, like, have you got this on Game Boy? <laughs> now, as an adult, you know, yeah. my my me now see this. Oh my god, if someone had this, like, really? Yeah. This is console game. Luckily, they did. Yeah. But yeah, I can imagine someone trying that today. And it not unless it was a video, it it unless it was a movie tie-in game. It wouldn't probably work back then. It was only luckily enough that they released yeah. the Game Boy, and I played the shit out of that game. Yeah. And it was like nine hours, and it took me because in months and five years later, we have we, st we I think it's on his own bunk bed. We still have like passwords written on his bunk bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, then we that, yeah that, that place. Well, it became Toy Box Games later. I, I don't know whether it was a takeover. It was, takeover always, it was or always games to you, and then it suddenly got turned into a bloody hairdressers. No, it was Toy Box Games when I went there, and I know because when they because they closed down because they had another branch in Sheffield. Oh, I, and I went there a few times. That's where that's where I got Legacy uh, Blood Omen. See, the last time but, I saw it was games to you, and then it got turned yeah. into a hair. You got to shut yeah. down and got yeah, turned, turned into a hairdresser. Turned into Zars, and and then they've changed their name again, but. I that's where I got my N64 from. Ah, well, games to you, I yeah. got a lot of good stuff. In fact, that's where I got Jack and Dagster from. Yeah, which is a, uh, a, a bit further on the story, yeah. but yeah, uh, well, yeah. Um, um, what was the first console you actually personally owned? My first console that you, um, you, you own, not that you know your family. The Christmas, um, this was uh, oh. Christmas 2000, whatever. Pete, I got bought, and because I I played on some of the stuff my family and I, and I played Crash Bandicoot 3 and mm. Spyro 1. Yeah. And I really like those games. Then around Christmas, what at two thousand, I got a PS One with Crash Bandicoot Three, Spyro One, okay. and Spyro Two. So you beat me to it then. <laughs> but it was a PS, well, not the yeah. old one. It was the PS, the, 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 the little the, tiny the, thing. Yeah, the, the slimline which PS One. Which annoyingly got then a few about a year or so, like got donated to my mum's ex's daughter, which I was really pissed off about. Actually. Yeah, no, I, I I got one of those much much later. No, mine. Game, I got game. I got for Christmas, uh, whatever sodding year it was, GameCube and Donkey Konga. Hmm. Because uh, I really wanted Pokemon Coliseum. But go and continue on the stuff. From this standpoint, on I was, uh, you know, after being a Sega boy, and I was a PlayStation boy, so I didn't know about. I at this point, this was about two thousand two, maybe one. Mm. I had no idea about Sonic, about Mr. Pokemon. Mario. No idea about Pokemon. Well, you knew about Sonic because you were a Sega boy. I mean, no, about Mario, Sonic, or Zelda. Mm. It wasn't until my cousin had, like, uh, Super Mario Bros. retro stuff. Mm -hmm. I got into Mario. What, Mar what, uh, Super the Mario retro Game Boy one. 
Oh yeah, the, the, then, the deluxe edition. Yeah, and no, yeah. they're not just it was like it's retro classic NES oh, series. Oh, the classic NES. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the one, one of these. What, you mean these got, ones? Yes, one of those. Exactly one of those. One of these ones. It was until I got there to go to Mario, and then um, I think not long after we got into Pokemon. I, I played yeah Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Fire Red, and mm. I used to borrow both of them every now and then. Yeah. And then the Wii came out. Mm. Then you got one. No, he had one first. He yeah. was severely better at Mario Kart than I was. Yeah. Okay. So, what was your after that? Then what was? Well, co- what console and stuff? Yeah, because well, after I got the let's see, I had, I had my Game Boy Color and I lost it, and then I got another one, and I lost it, and got yet another one. That's I, 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 and I lost that original copy of Pokemon Silver as well. I, it dropped down the side of my cousin's bed, and I could not get it out. And it's probably still down there, but we unfortunately must, they've moved, so well, I, have no, I, I still have no way of getting it back out. I'm going to say we must take this apart. I mean, no, but um, shit, I don't know. Uh, got a DS, obviously. Oh yeah, I got, I, 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 I got a DS. I won, I won it at the seaside. You know, you know the, you know the, uh, the sort of tower. Oh, the, the those, tower yes, type yes. Machine. I, that's how I, I won it. On one ca- of those. Do you remember the camera we first had a few years ago? Oh yeah, yeah. That's how I won the camera. Yeah, no, I won in, in in that single machine on that one day for a total of, like, I think I put a fiver into it, all yeah. told. I, sh- I won, I and mean, I only got one of the three things, but I technically won two DS's, two original DS's, and an iPod. A very, what, 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 what would now be a very, very old one, but at the time, this was like 2006. I think I got a DS Lite, but moving back to the PlayStation, so after I got, play- I got a PS2, so I had Jack and Daxter, which was... Made by Naughty Dog, so I thought, yeah, this is going, 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 done. And then, um, I remember, you remember me talking about the old PS2 magazines. There was a demo disc that came with it. You got, you got demos with the PS2 themselves as well. The, the demo disc, and this demo disc, this was before, I think, I don't get what the hell this happened, but I got this disc after I got Jack and Daxter or something like that, so mm-hmm. I had a trailer of Jack and Daxter, and I had a demo for a game called Dark Cloud. And then, of course, you got addicted to it. There was now a demo, you could only get so far on it, but I played it over and over again. And it was games to you. Oh, funnily enough, that my yeah. mum tried going to. I didn't have any stock because it was half good old. And this was the launch style. Yeah. And my mum, my auntie Sarah, ordered two copies online of Dark Cloud. Mm. I ended up getting one. I still have the copy today. It's a bit mashed up, but it's there. But yeah. that is the favorite game of all time. Yeah. Then the Wii came out, and then Mario came, and I got a bit more into Nintendo. So I got a Nintendo DS Lite with Mario 64 DS, mm. and Nintendo Dogs, and. Something else, I can't remember the other thing. Is. Oh, yeah, Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. Oh, the the, the, the DS one. Well, all the Harry Potter Goblet of Fire games were terrible. I like that one, actually. I thought it was quite good. Yeah, uh, no, I, 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 I mean, compared to the previous games in the Harry Potter oh, yeah, the, the, movie the, the times. The PlayStation 1 one was the best the, the, one. The, the, I mean, Harry Potter 1 and Harry Potter 2 were the best in out of the Harry Potter tie-in games. After that, oh, I mean, 3 was alright. PS2 one was horrible. Yeah, but after PS2 that, after that they were all terrible. terrible. Yeah, um, comparatively. But yeah, when it came, yeah, yeah. Jasmine, good. When there. it came after the DS Lite, um, obviously the next step was the DSi. Yeah, well, I never this, got, I never got a DSi. I did because I think that was one of the things. So I had the Wii, obviously for quite a few years. I still played everything else. Hey, Jasmine, no. That channel was Moscow's back. Well, one, one of them. Yeah, she's vis- she's here for a visit. Yeah. Um, Who are you? Well, let's see, because I, I went straight from DS Lite to 3DS. See, I had DSi, but I also had DS Lite, mm. and the reason why I got a DSi, I remember now, because um, I was a bit too forceful with the touchscreen. Did you punch a hole in the touchscreen? No. Did you scratch a big scratch in the touchscreen? No. I was too heavy on the touchscreen. Did, did you so put a dick in the touchscreen? No. <laughs> I damaged the touchscreen, so it wasn't as it it wouldn't sensitivity. Work. No, it would work, it just but wasn't the, all the, uh, yeah. it, you know, the range was everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, so then this was in during high school because this is uh, what you know when me and Flum met. Uh, this is what, in fact, I was just a huge portion. When it came to DSI, I met up with Broken Circus, as we should call him, because that's the channel's name. Oh, does, it, does, doesn't he go by. He goes by Flum, but this channel's name Broken Circus, and he actually. Uh, go, you know, does he go by that on his channel? Yeah, he also. Oh, um, in that case, sorry about that, Circus. He also gave us a link, link to. Um, you know the, one of the other videos, yeah. and he showed me, and this is this also really surprised you. I never played Doom before that. I never played any PC games. I played Doom, and he showed me Doom. 
Yeah. You know, aiming late is 64 aiming late is, which is how I got into Mario 64, but I was shit at Doom. Yeah. I was so, <laughs> so bad. Just then, over there, go. Uh, Flum get, yes. kept giving yes. me, go. He kept giving me cheats like God Mode, and then when we get to a few levels, like, you can't use them now, you need to get used to it. Nowadays, I'm pretty good at it. But, uh, yeah. Desmond. He go was the one, there. Flum with Broken Circus was the one who got me into Phoenix Rise to turn it. Yeah. And that was how I got into that series. Yeah, no, uh, I remember I got into Ratchet and Clank through one of the, the, the demo discs that actually came with the PS2. Ah. Because while I was living at that point, they got a PS2 in the activity room. And obviously, when they got it, there was the demo disc, and that was the only game we had. See, I only played Jack and Dance to I only didn't play Jack 20 years later, but after, um, you know, around high school. And that was, that, that was, that, 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 you know, that had the Ratchet and Clank 2 demo on. And then one of the other guys who actually had a PS2 in his room, he got. He got he got the Ratchet and Clank too, and we, you know we all played it downstairs. Never got very far because we didn't have a memory card. And no, that, I, that, I, that, I remember those days. And that was the first that was the first time I'd ever heard of you know the concept of an exclusive, you, you know, uh, it, you know something being released on, in this case the PS2, not the GameCube and the console exclusive. Yeah, yeah. It, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I remember being really annoyed at that when I got my GameCube and then found out, oh wait, I can't get Ratchet and Clank on this. In fact, that that was one thing I remember actually first given. So the Sparrow Hero's Tale had a game-breaking glitch on it, and it was on all across all copies. Mm. Which is the first time I had a glitch because I remember me and my mum playing it, and she'd get what well, the glitch was: you get so far, mm. and if you didn't get far enough, we are so far, the safe cow will come become corrupted, and you'd have. To oh yeah, again. she and then and then she thought you were the one that. So my mum, because it. for I was the one who was missing all my memory card, deleted it. But the same thing was on the Xbox and the GameCube. If you got to the second world on Hero's Tale, didn't get far enough, the game data would corrupt and just restart. Um, but that was when I got into game glitches. Yeah. But when it comes to later years, so I had because some told me that 3DS had a frame DS, and this was when uh, my mum got with Ben. You know mm. the guy she's with now. Yeah. And this is how this will really impress you. This is how we got into Zelda, <laughs> and th this is where Fry is going to call me a big uh, douche. So the first Zelda I ever got in touch with was Ocarina of Time, <laughs> because my stepdad played it as an N64. The first time I was in mm. 64, so I seemed to like it. Yep. So then when I got my 3DS, you know that was around about the time when the Ambassador program kicked out. Oh yeah, I got just my 3DS. Before I met you. Yeah, I got my 3DS just after the Ambassador program. Well, just how did you get the uh, links, um, uh, Oracle of Ages and Thingy then? Because I, I bought it through the eShop. Okay, so just like after, most just did. before the Ambassador came, so then I got Oracle of Ages, Oracle Seasons, and Link's Awakening. So I played this, and I really liked them. So I never played a 3D one. Q, eight months down the line, I met this guy. <laughs> yes. On a pub crawl. <laughs> on a pub crawl, we were drinking water. So I was playing it and said, so I've got this from here. And he yeah. went, oh, I have, which you still need to give me those, but we you can't. I figured out why. What? The passwords are game specific. No, they're not. You can they're use the passwords between things. I just, so need to get, I just need to get what new ones that... Back then... I actually know which ones they're for. This, were, this is talking six or seven years ago. He said, oh, I've got the password so you can get all the stuff. Mm. You know. You know, so we ended up meeting, and we ended up meeting again. And then I think the next time I met you was when Michael invited me to come up to stay for one of your parties. Oh yeah. That was probably like, oh, you've got the password. Come on, password. And I can't find them. Yeah, I'd written them down on a piece of paper and lost it. So I still haven't found it. That's how we got to know each other, and through that, that was how and I. Then, and, and then you mentioned a bit later about the channel. This was. This was a long time, but oh, the, yeah. the, there's between them. There's the the Xbox. Uh, Conspiracy. So what? around that the time, the Xbox conspiracy. So oh, right, oh yeah, you never had an Xbox 360 that worked, did you? Around the time, whereas I never had a PS3 3, that worked. 3D, 3DS and the um, you know all stuff. So the PS3, I, my I, my mum's um, you know say back at the time, I had a kid who played Xbox and played mm -hmm. Halo. So I really like Halo. I don't like Halo. It's boring. I yeah, really like it. Want, it was the first care. first person shooter. You know, I really yeah. liked after Doom, which I really finally got good at. And uh, so I thought I wanted an Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. So I went to, uh, I think it was Game of Time, pre ordered one, no problem, got it, <coughs> week later, Excuse shut me. down. Mm -hmm. Now, because of Games Clause, they had a thing where I could, because well, you could bring it back and. So I bring it back, and they replaced it. Yep. Same thing happened. I bring it back, replaced it, same thing happened. I always point to bring it back a third time, and the guy that account was. he's like, hell no. No, he was not at all. He literally said to me, I said, we don't normally do this, but because it's, you know, this has happened quite a few times, we've had quite a few reports from mm -hmm. the Xbox, 
would you like a PS3 instead? <laughs> mm. So I said yes. And I've still done it. <laughs> and yep. it still works. So I got a PS3, went my to thing, but I also had a Wii. And this was where we both, around the time where we both made the stupid mistake. Mm. We bought the Wii U. Mm. This is where Nintendo, which was doing so well, went downhill. Yeah, I own uh, precisely two games from Wii U. I own... Yeah, two games. I owned Nintendo Land and Wind Waker. Mm. But this is where Nintendo and Force went downhill. They, they'd done so well with the Wii, and the, you know, everything else. The PS2 were going to... And at this point, they just... I, they, they'd announced too much, that they never came, and they just dropped. It was only until there was basically the line handles for quite a few years after this. It was only mm. until the Switch came they started getting back up again, really. But after that, I kind of stuck to the PS3. I'd barely played the Wii and PS4, um, and up till now I've played everything else. Mm. I think that's about it, really. Yeah. Other than that, we were really shit, and now I'm really good at first-person shooters. Mm. Yeah. I mean, with the Wii though. Oh, I really like them. I like the Wii. I mean, loads of people ripped on the motion controls. Oh, yeah, but the motion controls are, you know, they're not the greatest. Yeah, I mean, they, they work with some games. I mean, that, well, that's why I still hold to this day that the single best version oh, really, of Resident Evil 4. 4 is the Wii version. Because see, you can actually aim. See, whereas I have a different thing. Resident Evil 1, I played the remake and game. Oh, yeah, you, you, you played the Wii make, and it was terrible. So and then you gave it to me, and what? I found that it was terrible, <laughs> and then I traded it in for a fiver. You never told me that. Why would you think I don't have it anymore? I didn't know you didn't have it. So this is the funny story. So there was in college there was like a student union mm. which had a Wii. Mm. Now I was telling all my friends I am really good at Resident Evil. I'm really good at Resident Evil. And I've got someone bring and then someone. No, no, I had a copy of the Wii. The Wii game. I said, okay, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try this one. I've not played this version. And it's awful. And they went, you're shit. I went, I'm not shit. I can't fucking aim. Why is it not going on? The aim is so bad on it. Whereas yeah. I look like a complete prat mm. until a week after where someone brought his copy of PS2 away. Insert obvious joke here. He's, cop he's, he's copying which I went do 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 yeah. But, yeah. So. I um, think that's been pretty much, well, a bit shorn, but I'm but still yeah. gaming. Yeah, I mean, I got into Resident Evil. I mean, let's just do a few big series. Resident Thanks. Evil. I got into Resident Evil with Resident Evil 3 on the PS1. I didn't I didn't play it, but I watched, because I was rooming with the, it's this guy, he was, um, I, I was, what, eight at the time, this guy I had to share a room with was 17, and he, and he, he loved playing Resident Evil and Soul Reaver. See, this is where, I, this is where my thing, so, uh, let me start off, uh, by Mario, Technically Mario and the thing, but well, it was do, Mario do, do Kart. Resi, do Resi and then, and then... Resi was not was actually just not long before the Cat Channel's uh, conception. No. So, you know my friend Necro. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of series I got into him uh, through, from from him. Yeah. Um, Resident Evil was one of them. Mm. In fact, it was one of the... I think it was his one of the big Red Nose dream. Not long, about a week before the channels was created. <laughs> that uh, but that, made, that got you into it. Well, they got, kind of got me known a bit on YouTube because mm. uh, it was doing a Resident Channel show, No Safe States. And this is when I foolishly, I had a lot of money back then, I inherited it, and I foolish, I should maybe shouldn't have, I'm glad it went to, it went to charity. Mm. So I'm still not, I'm not so sad about it, but I put, but still. He had about £250 towards his thing and didn't look at me, so I'm mm. like, fuck it, do it. Now, at this time, on the stream was the Manga Minx, RPG Minx, mm -hmm. who's very, very popular these days, on the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, next go, uh, JPLEAT5 and a few of us. So when I, when I uh, obviously did this... You should have a lot of money at them. No, when I, I didn't, no, don't say it like that. I know, I know. I put it into this, so yeah. they all saw my name, and this is how a lot of people in the stream recognise me, and they're bearing in mind, and through that, the channel started growing really quickly yeah. after that. Now I didn't create the channel, I'd already created the channel just before this, but it wasn't fully a Let's yeah. Play channel. It was only through and Necro that, that I started. And that's, that, that's how the channel got it. It was only because of seeing Necro do it and other people do it, I thought, you know, I could do mm. this. Yeah. This how the, so really, we really, really need to do a redo. That's Super Mario 64 on my fucking oh, yeah. shitty laptop. Every the evil run happened. Yeah. So, yeah Nowadays we we're, a bit more those. we're a bit more professional and actually uh, we've got a decent frame rate. Professional. <laughs> well, well, okay, no, I say okay, we've no, got I'm a kidding. decent frame, but we actually edit videos rather than going, oh shit, I'm off to the toilet. <laughs> Wait, you really did that? 
You didn't. You didn't pause the recording, or do I anything? think I, d I did it. On one or two videos where I forgot. There's. In fact, the, I had to edit the Paul videos. Some of the Paul videos, you can hear my mum yelling downstairs. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. As well as the uh, what washing other, machine. Yeah. What? Okay. Uh, other series. Well, we already covered Pokemon, obviously. Mario, you, you Mario Kart for you. Mario Kart and Mario sixty four for me. Um, what else? I think the biggest one for me, which is a shocker for a lot of people because I talk about Final Fantasy a lot, is Final Fantasy. I don't know a lot about Final Fantasy. It was st I started getting into it through Kingdom Hearts, and this mm. was when I really... It was only until Necro started talking about it, I started getting into Final Fantasy a bit more. I know a bit more now, but I, st I still don't know that much about it. Yeah. Oh, good one. Castlevania. Oh, see, this is another one. A lot of my retro gaming knowledge mm. comes from my college years, believe it or not. Yeah. So it's when I got into emulate, emulating, and I started watching. You know, I knew a few games. Castlevania, though, is one, the only exception, mm. because I played Castlevania. I think it was what was it called? It was the Mega Drive one. Oh, Lament or something. I can't remember. Lament, L Lament of Innocence. Something like that, and yeah. I loved it, but I was so bad at it. No, but that was with not the Belmonts, and it was only yeah. years later when I got into the younger video game. Now I started looking at the old mm -hmm. retro stuff, and I got into heavily into like retro games, and I found as an adult I was a lot better at them. Mm. Cue me finishing Castlevania one and punching yeah. out that kind of thing. Our first Castlevania, uh, Dawn of Sorrow. See the, one, the one I did the Let's Play on the channel. See yours with the DS ones. I yeah, was exactly. The, the old style of it. So I basically uh, when I was in high school. My original DS, the one I won at the arcades. Yeah. It got nicked from the car. Oh, I remember uh, you mentioned this. Yeah, yeah, and it had it had an actual cartridge copy of Pokemon Pokemon Quartz in. <gasps> and I've been able to track track down another <coughs> one ever since, and I've still haven't managed it. They're hard to get all of. Yeah, but, yeah, because obviously it's it's not an official game. But I could but, go out the yeah. most. But uh, so after that, I say I said a, a few days later, I'm saying to my mate, you know, my DS was stolen. Any idea what I should do? And he goes, well, I'll sell you mine for a tenner. And it was black, for, for, a black for, for, DS Lite with a case. That's the one I had. Yeah, and and he threw the game in with it, and it was Dawn, it was Dawn of Sorrow, and I started <laughs> playing it. So I'd read about it in uh, NOM. Oh, you yeah, know, you had know. NOM before I had NOM. Yeah, this was NOM before ONM existed. See, it was when the Wii I got the ONM, and I, 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 yeah. I really wish I'd have got, because I got the Animal Crossing Christmas Edition. I guess somebody got it, and I have every copy since. Yeah. As well as the but Game Master, which I'm not sure if you noticed. I, yeah, this month, you, you this, I didn't get the Game, Game Master this month. Do you know what I got? Nothing. The official PlayStation magazine. Well, did you manage to switch your subscription? I didn't switch it. It just, just got sent to me. Okay, well, since you actually have a PlayStation, you don't get to play that much. <laughs> yeah, but I know. I prefer Game Master because it covered everything. Right, I need to pause recording. Anyway, the well, we, we should be... F yeah, I anyway, mean, covered everything, so pretty much. I so. would say the last thing about Castlevania. I had a really funny about it. So I started off as, uh, I think, Mom Net Venice and the Mega Drive one, mm -hmm. which had the, oh, not Belmontson, and then I got introduced to Symphony of the Night, which I didn't really play because it was my, my, my stepdad's, you know, yeah. sons, and I didn't really like him, so I didn't end up playing it. But I did play as Rick to Belmont, and I was really good at the opening scene. I didn't play much of it because yeah. I never got into the game. And then I got back to Castlevania 1, to my favourite, which you mean is. That one. Yeah, that yeah. was the original one. Well, that, uh, that one. My favourite is still Supercast 4, but that was how it was based on the linear ones, whereas you wasn't. Mm. So when it came to, as you all both, so as you all saw, when it came to playing. Um, oh, yeah. Put, uh, uh, those, uh, those bloodstained. Which uh, I, I told you about, it's coming, come finishing soon yeah. because uh, they're going to release it soon. Good. I was quite good at it. Um, about bloody time. Yeah, well, yeah. anyway. We have a we have a pooch that's in distress. And so so we're gonna end it here. Happy yep. anniversary. Yep. More to come. Yep. See you Bye -bye. next time. Bye.